Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in for a brand new video review. Well, not quite a review this time around. This is going to be a read-along for The Art of the Mandalorian Season 1. And actually not so much as a read-along either, but it's going to be a quick flip-through of the book to just show you some of my favorite moments and favorite pages in the book from Season 1 because it is a quite a thick book. Let me check how many pages in total this book is, if there are page numbers. I don't know if there are page numbers. I'd say it's easily a 200 page book and it's pretty thick and they're you know not a normal sized book it is a large art book so you have a ton of content between pictures and stories and notes everything in this book is absolutely incredible posted notes some pages that I really wanted to show off to really get your attention and make you want to buy this book I'm not affiliated I don't have any promotional or advertising video up right now this is just my honest personal thoughts I have been getting more into art books lately and I really really wanted to get this one because I just knew it was going to be amazing with all the concept art and designs from Dave Filoni, Doug Chiang, Brian Matias, everyone who worked on The Mandalorian and had influence from other Star Wars uh, mediums as well. This was the book to get. So without further ado, let's take a look through this book and hopefully you uh, can pick this up in time for Christmas or maybe a little late Christmas present for someone in your life or maybe yourself too. So. So once again, we have the cover of the book, which has, of course, The Mandalorian with the Child and the Razor Crest, the art of Star Wars The Mandalorian, written by Phil Stosak and forward by Doug Chiang. A beautiful image of some concept work from episode one. This is something I love. It says the who's who. It's basically everyone who has worked on The Mandalorian. We have concept supervisor, artists, uh, storyboard artist, director, screenwriter, visual art director, concept supervisor, set director, prop master. Everyone who worked on the show is right here in front of you, which is amazing for people who are just interested to know who worked on the show. It gives credit to all the people. For someone like me who collects autographs, this is a great way to track down people. I love this little index that they have as well. Here in the opening pages, you have a little story about how the Mandalorian came to be, talking about Jon Favreau. Well, actually, Jon Favreau talking about his pitch to Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy and with Dave Filoni when he first hopped on in The Clone Wars and giving his background and showing Dave Filoni some films and Dave Filoni showing Jon Favreau some episodes of Clone Wars. So this is a really, really cool read. And this alone, honestly, makes the book. I mean, I know it's the art of The Mandalorian, but this story is incredible. <laughs> Here's an actual interesting image of the Mandalorian, and this shows him with like a Boba Fett backpack and helmet and some other Mandalorians and of course the child being shown off. So I'm curious if we will end up seeing something like this in the future. A lot of sketches by Dave Filoni. Here are some amazing concept designs. For the Mandalorian, we can see all the different armors, the colors. We have a little bit of a robe or a cloak that what we did see the armor wearing. So it's really cool to see how his design progressed over time. Some more images of the Mandalorian concept design. This is really cool how we see some parts from the Shore Trooper, some from the Death Trooper. How his helmet, the belt, his gauntlets, the pistol, everything is designed. So there's a lot of work and attention to detail that went into designing him. And we have the different stages of every time he upgrades his armor until, I guess, stage five, the last stage we do see him in with mostly Beskar armor. Some concept designs of the Razor Crest, which they all pretty much look similar if you added features right there. It's absolutely amazing how they make the full layout of the different planets and scenes and settings so you know where everything is. Like here we have Ice Planet, Ferryman Speeder Pickup Dock, the Ferryman's Dock, the Public House, 
everything has been laid out, which is truly incredible to see. One of my favorite characters is the armor, and this is absolutely incredible to see all her different designs. Some of them, it's kind of interesting. I'm actually not that big of a fan of, like, I don't really like this design on the helmet. This one's not too bad, but I absolutely love that final design that we did come up with. We even have some Beskar illustrations right there, the Beskar ingots, the little workstation. And of course, something that everyone loves to look at, the concept designs of Grogu or Baby Yoda, the child. And some of these are pretty funny, some are a bit scary. Let's just say I'm glad we got the design that we did in the show. Even something like his backpack or his little pod, you know, we almost had him in a backpack scenario, the way it opens. And I think this is the actual best way because you can see him floating along next to the Mandalorian instead of him you know always being in the back and kind of having to pan the camera around so I think this was ideal both from a story perspective from a viewer a character within the story there's a lot of different standards that were met and that's for sure there's some amazing images of the Clone Wars or I guess the Mandalorian Wars flashback well no they yeah they were Clone Wars flashback because of the battle droids and super battle droids so that was a pretty cool moment and i love seeing all these different storyboard moments to show how the scenes have progressed and these are also dropped in throughout the book as well some more mandalorian concept designs here's the heavy mando version Another really cool moment or part of the book is showing all the different layouts within buildings and rooms. So of course they're going to design the set, but it's cool to see the actual art and design behind it as well. The different designs for Cara Dune. All of them look pretty badass. I mean, I love all these designs and I think any of them would have been a great final result. Of course, it is the actress who completes it. And here we can see Gina Carano definitely has the closest look to this design here. We even have the different scales for within the Razor Crest, so you can and or within I think that's the Razor Crest. Yeah, Razor Crest layout version. So you can see everyone, all the characters and all everything on the wall, the size of the ship, how big everything is supposed to be. In just the last few designs, we actually, we actually almost had a different signet right here. The mud horn is kind of facing forward and the horn's right in the front, whereas the one we actually got is this one. I kind of like this one more. This kind of gives a bigger or a better presence to the mud horn versus that one. So, But I, I'm sure that one would have looked cool in the final episode as well, or the final showing, I should say. All right, folks, thanks for taking a small uh, read along with me or a quick read along, I should say, looking at the art of the Mandalorian. Like I said, I just want to do a quick overview because there are so many pages and I don't really want to do a full on read through of the book, but I hope you got enough of a picture of it to know what's in the book and know that it's absolutely worth it. It is a beautiful book. I cannot wait until the season two book is out. If you have any questions, comments, or anything at all, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget, like I mentioned at the beginning, check your local targets if you do decide to get it from there because on the app and website, it's a little bit more expensive and in the store, they were 30% off. They had those stickers slapped on that I just peeled off. And I think I've noticed Target always has those 30% off stickers. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is if it's just promos all year long, but always double check. They may have it cheaper on Amazon or other booksellers, but I figured I was at Target. It was a great price. I had to pick it up. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more videos.